Uh, I'm Yan Fei Yang. I'm from National Institute of Standard and Technology in USA, uh, which is in Gaithersburg, uh, Maryland. Uh, so here we are presenting our recent results, uh, which we use graphene for the next generation uh, resistance standards. Because graphene is a truly two-dimensional uh, material, and where uh, the quantum hole effect it has been observed uh, up to room temperature uh, in the exfoliated one. Here we are using the uh, epitaxial graphene on silicon carbide substrate, um, but we are uh, presenting a new method uh, which using a graphite disk to cover the silicon carbide substrate uh, so that the uh, gas, the silicon gas, which is uh, an essential gas for carbon, uh, for the graphene to grow, can be concentrated and confined between a small gap. Uh, therefore, we got a large area uh, and homogeneous uh, monolayer graphene, which in scales uh, up to seven, seven millimeter. Uh, here you can see that from Raman uh, microscopy and also from optical micros, the, the uh, contrast enhanced the optical image. Um, even from combined with the transport measurement, so we can see this uh, material is homogeneous in a large uh, area in millimeter scale. And also it gives us a very good, uh, uh, content, robust quantum hole effect at much higher temperature and much higher current uh, compared to what we used before, the guardian arsenide. So definitely shows that graphene will be the next generation for a resistance <laughs> metrology.